Hi, I'm Vibreen Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stone Astrology Sun Sign Series. Today is the last one because I'm dealing with the Sun in Pisces. So a key phrase associated with Pisces is I believe. Key words are compassion, universality and renunciation. Now as a Piscean, you are highly attuned and sensitive to the needs and the nuances that you pick up in the environment around you. That could be societal needs as well as from people who are close to you, but even those who are more far removed from you. So you're able to tune into the zeitgeist, and that's a personal zeitgeist, a social zeitgeist, as well as a cultural zeitgeist. But the lesson here is, is as much as you're able to merge and blend with other people, it's about having um, the capacity to self-define. Otherwise, you can become overwhelmed with all of the stimuli that's entering your world. Now, when we're looking at the symbol or the image of Pisces, it's represented by two fishes swimming in the opposite direction, which gives you a sense of the duality that exists within your sign. Um, and, but also this sense of the possible inability to make those very hard or difficult or emotional decisions that need to be made at any given moment. Now in ancient times, the two fishes were represented by dolphins. And dolphins were very sacred sea animals. So for example, the gods Apollo, Poseidon, as well as Dionysus, um, recognized that uh, dolphins were really supportive to mankind because of their kindness and compassion. So in ancient times, in um, the Middle East, for example, dolphins were associated with the homeopathic remedies. And um, in, with regards to ancient Greece, Telemachus, who's the son of Odysseus, he was rescued by dolphins. He was rescued from drowning. And so as a result of this, dolphins were placed on the family crest. So with regards to the image, it's, it's the saviour, it's the healer, it's the supporter of people, um, as well as um, causes, as well as what's going on generally within society. Now, Pisces is ruled by two signs, or two planets, I should say. Firstly, the ancient planet is Jupiter, and the more modern one is Neptune. Now with regards to Jupiter, Jupiter gives you more faith and confidence and gives you that sense of um, having more vitality in your life. And the reason for this is because at times you can come across and behave in a way whereby you're overwhelmed. Whereas with Neptune, Neptune is about transcending your ego. It's about lifting you beyond your everyday realities. And what you're oscillating between is trying to balance or reconcile the sense of the, the kind of conventional everyday realities, as well as recognizing there is a superior quality of life to be lived. Now, with these two planets, uh, what binds them is that there's a religious dimension to both of them. So with regards to Ju uh, Jupiter, that's about theology, whereas with regards to Neptune, Neptune is about experiencing, having that direct um, experience of transcending everyday realities. And so that's very difficult to do because you're oscillating between those two principles. So when we're looking at Jupiter, Jupiter wants you to um, be more um, or show more of your magnetism because what can happen is, is that you're drawn into the undercurrents of what's going on in life. It's always about focusing your attention on other people. And a key lesson here is how are you able in some way, shape or form able to draw lines in the sand? And one of the ways that you're able to do this is if you begin to really tune into and follow the intuitive guidance that you're receiving. And this is based on your own inner voice, your inner knowing of what is right and what is wrong. So you can fight for justice for other people, but you have to be able to be boundaried enough so that you're able to self-identify, to have your own identity, to carve out your space in this world. Otherwise, you're just going to be a sponge that continues to absorb everything else that's around you and you can lose yourself in the process. And this is very connected to the Neptunian side. 
because moving into the world of dreams, dreams are where um, you are able to lose yourself. So uh, it dissolves that boundary between the conscious world and the unconscious world with regards to the positive dynamic for that is that you're able to tap into um, creativity in a very deep and profound way, which gives you or acts as a catalyst to bring out um, any creative endeavor you have. That could be writing, it could be filmmaking, photography, sculpting, potting, whatever it is. Because um, when you're living within that unconscious realm, in the dream world, there you may be faced with images that could be healing of yourself, but also healing of the planet. The more negative side of this um, Neptunian uh, energy is that you can lose yourself behind drink or drugs or apathy or laziness or um, an unwillingness to face life because you feel too overwhelmed to do so. So as a Piscean, your key lesson here is how you're able to separate and give at the same time. So there's this recognition, there's this pull inside you towards supporting the underdog, for example, or supporting people who are more hidden from society. But what you've got to do is to balance that so that you're not hiding from yourself, you're not hiding from society, you're not hiding from living into your highest potential, your highest sense of who you are. Now, given that Pisces travels round the zodiac, it's the 12th sign of the zodiac, which gives a sense of a completion of your own personal evolution, which is a very powerful position to be. So you could either be living into being an advanced Pisces or a primitive Pisces. As an advanced Pisces, what you've done, you've been able to integrate the different archetypes and the different lessons that you learn as you journey through um, Aries right the way through to uh, Pisces. And so therefore you've completed a cycle of life and you're comfortable and you're ready to take your life to the next level when the sun moves back into Aries. Now if you're a primitive Pisces it means that you haven't integrated or you haven't fully connected with what the other signs were trying to teach you which means that when you enter again into the sign of Aries you are starting life again but as a novice as opposed to somebody who's been able to transcend their ego which is obviously very difficult to do it's a lifelong thing but actually that's what you're faced with that's what you're dealing with and to move into that, it brings me to the question of the day. What action is your inner voice, is your inner authority telling you to take? What is it guiding you towards? As always, put your answers, comments and questions in the comment box below. I love to connect with you. Feel free to share this episode, but also to share this series with people in your network because it's now the end of the Sun Sign series. You can also upload this particular episode or the playlist to your own playlist and you can like and subscribe to my channel. Stay well and I will see you again on another episode of Soul Stirring Astrology.